What's the largest animal that's ever lived? It's not a dinosaur. It's this magnificent mammal, a blue whale. Whales, Giants of the Deep, is an amazing exhibit that includes whale biology, their evolutionary history, uh, how people and cultures have interacted with them. Some of the things that have been most exciting about understanding whale biology is their history. So we've been able to talk about new DNA evidence that show the surprising result that whales are most closely related to hippos and that together they fall within a group called artiodactyls, the group that includes pigs and sheep and deer and antelope, hippos, and now we know whales. One of the things we can do in any show is tap into our world-class collections. For example, Andrew Sarkis, this skull behind me, is a giant predatory creature. It was discovered in the 1920s, the only known skull of this animal ever discovered, and we now know that it's a close relative of whales. For this exhibit, Whales, Giants of the Deep, one of the things that we're doing is uh, introducing material culture from the native peoples of the Northwest Coast, and there are a lot of similarities with Polynesia, with, particularly with the Maori of, of New Zealand. One of the uh, wonderful uh, artifacts that we are including in the exhibit is a Kwakwakiwak feast dish, which features a killer whale at, at one end and a human being at the other end, and one in the dorsal fin itself. This is an ancestral figure named Siwidi. He transforms into a killer whale himself. He has brought back this magnificent power that, that will allow people to subsist uh, and, and prosper. The American Museum of Natural History's uh, ethnographic collections are some of the best in the world, especially for native North American materials. And if you go into the Northwest Coastal, you'll see any number of representations of whales. I'm really pleased that this exhibition is here, not only because we get a chance to find out more about whales, but also because we get more of a chance to find out how the Maori have related to whales over time. Here in the exhibition we have um, two mahi, which are the carved panels from the, from the gables of a pataka. A pataka was a storehouse for food and would be used for whale meat, for weapons, weapons made out of whale bone. It was um, a storehouse for things that belonged to the chief. Also, the iconography on the, on the mahi, on the barge boards, would usually include whales with a spiral for its head and then coming up to the tail at the, at the peak. And this refers to, to the great plenty that a whale would bring. We have a fantastic Maori collection here at the museum and many things are on display in the Margaret Mead Hall of Pacific Peoples on the third floor. An interesting facet of the exhibition is that it shows whales perceived in two very different ways. Some focusing on the early hunting, industrial hunting of whales, to a transformation to a modern sensibility in which we are very concerned with the conservation of these endangered and magnificent beasts.